here. I am walking to our sister's house and I thought I would do a video, even though I would look like I'm speaking to myself, of how, why and when I came to Islam. Did you know that I was a really good person? No, you did. I'm sure you could tell. So I'm 24 now and I came to Islam on the 14th of May 2010 at half 2pm on a Friday just after Jumma Salah. I remember. Um, yeah, I'm 24 now and uh, Islam s sparked for me when I was around 15. And I remember our RE teacher, who was a Christian, telling us, I'm out of breath, sound healthy, telling us about Christianity. And I thought, you know, it just didn't make sense for me about the Trinity. At the time, I was an atheist. But if I was going to believe in the God, it wouldn't be God's son, all that weird things. So, because in the, at the time, in the media, it was like it is now, probably better. Um, speaking bad about Muslims and, you know, about Islam. And even at such a young age, I never, you know, I was, I was a person who wouldn't just believe something off what I'd heard. So I thought, you know, I'm going to look into this myself. So, just being nosy. So I started looking into it and I couldn't find anything bad. All, just all good. So, at that time, I went home and I remember writing on a piece of paper that uh, my religious status, that was a Muslim. So maybe at that time I wanted to be a Muslim. But... Um, of course, he was asking me if I'm all right. Oh my God. Yeah, so at that time I wanted to be a Muslim, but I didn't because obviously I wasn't fully convinced at that time. So over the next couple of years, I went on a bit of a bad path, and you know, a lot of reverts stories that I've heard they sort of hit rock bottom, and then you know, they you start to question life and you start to think, you know, there's got to be more to life than waking up in the morning, you know, going about your day to day, going out on the evening, coming back, going to sleep, and then, you know, and then you die, like, it's just weird. And I kept thinking, you know, there's people in this world that, you know, are suffering. Would it be fair that they die, and then that's it, and they don't get, you know, any happiness in another life? So I started questioning all that, and then I read about the miracles in the Quran. That's what sparked it for me. My arm hurts. Because I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite into science, a bit of a geek. So I was looking at uh, the quotes about where the moon gets its light from, and that the mountains are like pegs, and the formation of the fetus in the early stages of pregnancy. And I was just blown away. And I thought to myself, there's absolutely no way, and I'm no doubt that a man could have wrote this book, which was you know, 1,400, 500 years ago, when they didn't hit, you know, did they have telescopes? I don't think so. So, that was what, you know, uh, certified it for me. And then also women's rights, because I was like, well, I just, you know, I was one of these people that believed, believed at that time that um, women couldn't drive etc and although I was I didn't really believe what the media said I didn't really see any Muslim women driving so I thought maybe and um, you know like in Saudi Arabia etc so I like looked into it and I was like women have more rights than men alhamdulillah and you know the hijab was not oppression as I thought the hijab liberates me and the way I used to dress before that is oppression because people can call me brainwashed but Women in this era feel that they have to look and dress and act a certain way to fit in with society. That, to me, is brainwashing, to be honest. And I didn't want to feel like, you know, I ain't following society or following fashion. So that was another thing that sparked for me. And now I, like, love my hijab, alhamdulillah. And, you know, I feel liberated. So... Then I took my shahada. I kept putting it off because at the time, um, I was, you know, you feel like you don't want to give up your life. And, you know, I was working in a bar at the time. And I thought, well, you can't be a Muslim and work in a bar. So, 
got the ready. So I kept putting it off and then I thought, you know, all the whoop avoided, my five got stronger and I thought, you know, I'll quit my job. So I quit my job and haven't been able to find one since. Oh no! But I haven't been doing that. Um, yeah, so that really is my story. My family, I haven't been doing that. I was just confused at first, which it is a big change and I think a lot of converts need to understand that, you know, as much as we are changing, it's a change for your family as well, like your son or your daughter or your relative is like becoming a Muslim, which, you know, with the media, it's not a good thing, is it? Um, but then after a while, they see that, you know, it changes you for the better and you're happy and you're at peace. So which parent, you know, or family member wouldn't be happy for me? So alhamdulillah. And they're very accommodating with meat and, you know, buying me halal meat or... I don't live with my family, but <laughs> when I visit, I cook things in different pans for me and stuff. And, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm really blessed, to be honest. So, yeah, so that was, like, over three years ago now. So, nearly at my friends. So I hope you enjoyed my story. And I'll maybe do another video, inshallah, about how I found Islam and my journey over the last three years. Thanks for watching. Asalaamu Alaikum.